Holy smokes, man. I did not expect it to melt right through that aluminum. I'm going to have to guess we had it pretty damn hot. So, all right. Well, we'll try that again later. This is just how I make the flares on the exhaust pipe. Now, the bender is going to get loud, so you're not going to be able to hear me, but just wanted to show you in case anyone was interested how they're made. This is how I make them right here. So. should do her and that's that that's that for the flare that's going to be part of my distillation tower vaporization tower whatever you want to call it i'm not sure what it's called but that's how i'm going to attach it to the uh still now i went ahead and made this up off camera um i wanted to be able to remove the tower for the vapors so i could get in here and clean it out so uh this is a gasket for like a 99 to 06 chevy pickup with a 5.3 um i can give you the i'll put the exact part number on the screen there in case anybody else wants to convert a keg into it still um and i i figure it seals exhaust so why wouldn't it seal the exhaust from this you know and i had this keg just laying around and this is just a a two inch split flange you can buy them at the parts store you can get this at the parts store i mean you can get all this at the parts store these are uh chevy studs manifold studs um again i wanted to make it removable this is just a two bolt solid flange i stock all this stuff this one was an old one so i figured i'd use it for this um but i do exhaust so that's why i'm using exhaust stuff you know keep it simple and use what i know works and then this is just a piece of two inch exhaust pipe and we flared it you saw that um and this flange is just going to slip right on there like this and that's going to bolt together just like that so i'm going to hopefully that'll balance there for a minute go go grab some nuts All right, and then these are just some shock washers I had laying around. Now, these flange nuts will catch that flange, but I don't want to use anything I'm going to use for work, so I'm just going to use these. These are leftovers. I don't even know why, but uh, just bolt that on. Surprisingly, it balanced pretty well, so must be somewhat straight level, I guess. And I'll get something getting those tightened up there. Probably just use the wrench. All right. Yeah, we'll just get this tightened up. And I'm not going to worry about it being perfectly level. Like I said, it balanced there while I was gone. So it must be fairly straight. We'll just tighten this down evenly. Make sure it seats that gasket nice and tight. And don't go crazy because you can't over tighten, crush the gasket, and make it leak. So. And I still have puppies over there, so I'm sure you can hear them yipping. We, we sold one yesterday, so starting to move. I'm going to call that good. Yeah, maybe a little more. I'm going to make sure this doesn't leak any fumes or liquid. Now I'll have to take that back apart before we start using this thing, but i just doing a test run here. I haven't uh, even put the burner under it yet. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. So I guess we'll all find out together. But if it does, it'll definitely make more at once. So that's the plan. All right. We're going to start by just uh, putting two gallons of just 
oil that customer brought me. This is a test run, so I don't want to go crazy and push the limits too far here. So you can see it's definitely nasty. Probably got water and pine needles and who knows what else in it. Some of the oil I get's pretty darn clean and some of it's pretty nasty. Can't fill it too fast either because there's no vent. So it'll start shooting out of the funnel trying to get air, you know? So, but yeah, well, well this is going to be what, 10 quarts because these are five quart jugs. So it'll be uh, about two and a half gallons, I guess. And we'll see how it goes on this test run here. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to heat this thing up enough to get it cracking or not. We'll see. Oh, yeah, like that. Don't pour it too fast. A vent would be handy, but again, just a test run. Not even sure if this uh, keg's gonna hold up. I hope I don't burn through, boy, that'll make a mess. I don't think I will. I'm gonna use the blower, I, or the small blower and that small burner I used for the, the last time we did it. I'm in the small container and we'll see. Now there was probably some leftover beer and water and who knows what else from sitting around. This keg's been sitting around for about five years, I bet you. So I got it propped up and uh, I'll show you that stuff here in a minute, but just wanted to show you pouring the oil in and uh, now I'll get everything bolted together and show you what I did off camera because it took a minute and took some figuring and didn't want to bore you with that stuff, but I'll show you what we did. All right. So you can see we have the old trusty down there. I don't have the oil line and stuff set up yet. I just wanted to show you what I did. Um, showed you that pretty close and personal. There's just a couple two inch exhaust, exhaust flanges. That way I can take it apart, clean it out, whatever I need to do. And that goes up. I made a big tower. Not sure if it's too tall or not tall enough or what, but then reduced it down with a nut and some sketchy welds here and there. And that runs through that same line we used last time. Back down to this, my homemade condenser, I guess you call it. <laughs> Anyways, then I'm going to drip it into this pan and catch all the crap that comes out at first. And then uh, we'll use this to check it and see when it starts cleaning up and then we'll just start catching it in that five gallon bucket so i'm guessing we're probably going to be able to make at least a gallon maybe a little bit more i don't know we'll see how it goes but that's where we're at right now i'm going to get the oil line and the burner all fired up and i'll bring you back when she starts producing some oil or diesel i mean sorry all right we'll be back with you shortly All right, well, that actually didn't take too long at all. It's been about 15 minutes, and it's already starting to drip. I don't know if I just have a better setup this time or what, but uh, it doesn't appear to be coming out dirty at all. Even the first couple drips are nice and clean. I'm going to get something to hold that up. Hold on a second here. Well, yeah, it seems to be working great. Uh, I was afraid that tower might be too tall, but I think we're all right. I'm going to just catch some in here just to get a sample and before we start putting it in the big bucket. But Yeah, it's just now starting to spit out there. It's got a lot of pressure coming out of it, I can tell you that. I had a bubbler on there real quick a thumper they call it just to try and uh keep the gases that are building up to a minimum but yeah it's kind of dripping and not and dripping and not so i'll let it get up to temp and start producing a steady stream and i'll bring you back but you can see it's blowing bubbles but yeah it's just starting but it's only been about 15 minutes so pretty happy with that i thought with that big container it'd take you know hours well, I guess not. 
Well, guys, I think I'm going to have to change it up. We're getting good, clean production, no doubt about it. But it's very slow. At this rate, I can make it faster in my little paint can deal. So, well, uh, I'm going to have to do some changes and uh, see if we can't get it producing faster than that. But it's definitely nice and clean. I'd have to say the cleanest I've ever made. It's like crystal clear. It does have a little water in it. I don't know if you can see it. That little dupe down there. There's like a little blob. So I'll do some changing and uh, we'll come back to it. All right. We're making some diesel now, boys and girls. I had to... Uh, put the big blower on there I'm sure you can hear it going um, well yeah it's making I'm talking crystal clear diesel I've never made it this clean I'm gonna assume this is probably kerosene coming off now I'll put a, a chart up to tell you the temperatures at what they crack off the crude oil but uh, I'm sure it's similar anyways yeah it's working so the bigger still works um i don't know if it's really worth the trouble i'd rather just make a small cup and you know 10 15 minutes instead of this has been taking quite a while and i had to redesign it and i'm sure i'll get it down you know once i mess with it some more but yeah i just wanted to do an update on the diesel and uh in a bigger still so Boy, she's really producing now. <laughs> Can't even condense it fast enough, don't look like. Nice and clear, though. She wants to slow down. Holy moly. It's definitely making some uh, gases now. Look how nice and clear that is. I'm probably wasting a bunch of it with all these fumes flying around, but. Yeah, I'd have to say uh, best run I've ever done. It sure does take some power, though, to get that big still hot, so. Not necessarily sure bigger is better, but definitely this design is better than what I came up with with the paint can the first time. <laughs> that was uh, fairly easy to beat. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pumping it out pretty quick, man. I've dumped that a few times into my container. Um, I was going to put it in a five gallon bucket, but I don't really want to put it in a bucket. So I just been dumping it in one of my diesel cans. But I've already filled this one time. So it's definitely producing more than last run. The last run, I only got one of those total. So, and it's coming out quicker than, uh, wow, almost fell over there. It's coming out quicker than I can deal with it here. So. That's a good thing, I suppose. All right, well, I'm going to call that success. And I mean, look how nice and clear that is. I don't know if you can see that. But man, it's it's friggin' cleaner than pump diesel. It's not, it's, it's really nice. I'm super happy. All right. I'm going to call that a win right there. I'm going to let this run and, uh, I'll just let this cup fill up and I'll just show you how crystal clear this stuff is. So I'll let that fill up and then I'll be right back with you. Holy smokes, that was almost catastrophic there. Well, it was catastrophic failure. So, yeah. Uh, it got so hot, it actually melted this aluminum square channel I was supporting this keg with. Thankfully, my condenser line held everything up you know coolers full of water thankfully it uh holy smokes 
Talk about a heart attack. So yeah, I guess that runs over for now. We'll have to get something different. But well, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate you. Uh, all your comments, everybody who subscribed, people just watching. Appreciate it. So you guys have a great night. I'm gonna clean up my mess. But yeah, it wasn't long after I shut the camera off. I just let it kept running and boom. She failed. I was worried about it burning through the bottom of the keg. I didn't think it would burn through that square. So, all right, well, have a great day, everybody. See you in the next one.